Right, and we'll travel to Cambridge tomorrow for a memorial service for MIT police officer Sean Collier. He was killed allegedly by the Boston suspects. And on Monday, I spoke exclusively to Collier's siblings. I began by asking them how the family was coping with their terrible loss. I think we're, we're coping as best as we possibly can. We are a very large and, and close family. We've sort of rallied together at our parents' house, um, just spending time together and trying to remember the best parts about Sean. Nicole, this must have been terrifying. You find out, of course, that something has happened at the MIT campus, and then you find out that it is your brother, Sean. It was a nightmare come true. How, is, how are your parents doing this morning? As well as can be expected. I think everybody's just going through the motions right now and pulling together for Sean because that's what he would want us to do. And let's let's talk about Sean because we've gotten to learn in the last few days of what a wonderful person that he was. Andrew, what would you want people to know about him? Sean was such a good person. I remember when he was a, a kid, uh, there'd be a, a bug in the house, an ant in the house, uh, and he would you'd go to get it with a napkin and it's no 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 don't kill it you, you need to put him outside you need to put him outside and uh, stories of being at restaurants and seeing a, a woman crying uh, and all of us are sitting there kind of just you know doing our thing eating our our puppuginos and and Sean just obsessing that my mom needs to go over there and try to help hmm. uh, and that I think that really shows uh, from the very start, Sean's just care for other people, and it's, uh, it's, it's almost something that I took for granted and didn't realize, but, uh, but now, you know, through his death, uh, I really, I realize how good of a person he was, and I, I wish I could have told him that, why he was still here. And Rob, it does sound like he was just a natural born protector his whole life. How important was this work of policing to him? Oh, very important. I mean, ever since we were kids, Sean and Andy would be doing something to each other, and then Andy would take off, Sean would chase him, and uh, he'd be doing siren noises and uh, saying, you know, pull over, you're breaking the law, you're breaking the law. So ever since uh, a very young age, this is what he's wanted to do, and uh, he did it. I mean, he, he worked his tail off, and he really, uh, you know, has made us all very proud of him. Jennifer, what's it been like to see this outpouring and, and to hear from people maybe you guys didn't really even know, to hear what an impact he had on their lives? That's been something that's been really just amazing for our whole family because, you know, we see a, a side of Shawnee that, you know, he's my, my little brother, my jerky little brother who's too cool for me. Um, you know, we've been able to hear about him volunteering, uh, taking time out to personally meet students at MIT that he worked with, um, you know, playing sports in the community with his friends um, it's just it, we get to see a whole other side to him that he was just so humble and, and didn't really speak to us about Jennifer Lemmerman to you finally so many people want to help so many people have been touched by this story I know you've, you've set it up so donations could be sent to the Jimmy fund and there's a history behind that with you and your brother correct there is um, there was a, a summer Sean was in high school and uh, I was in college and we had a summer job together at a medical office but we would listen to the radio to pass the time and that one day they were doing a uh, fundraiser on this radio station for the Jimmy Fund and they just told stories of these children who were fighting for their lives and their families and Sean was just so impacted by that and he went home and made a donation he's just this high school kid he had no money uh, but he made a small donation what he could do and then he set up a recurring payment from his own account to make regular donations to the Jimmy Fund and he did that until the day he died mm -hmm. um, and so we wanted to carry that on for him well he sounds like an extraordinary person and we are so grateful to you for sharing more about him thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. Well, we will switch gears now and get a check of the weather from Al.